What's up guys, War here, and today I'm going to go over my final thoughts on the Midwinter Blight Christmas event for Diablo 4 Season 2. Let's do it. So it's been a while since the Midwinter Blight, we've had it for a little bit now, and it ends on January 2nd, and I wanted to just kind of go over all of my thoughts on the event and just kind of some thoughts and feedback to blizzard and hopefully they can take it into consideration going forward for more events like this each and every single season and it doesn't just have to be for christmas or a particular holiday now i want to get into this and just talk about this really quickly because i already have almost all of the items or all of the cosmetics uh, for the event and we've done absolutely everything right we got the new ability we got the brand new elixir which is awesome and we're just finally farming out the rest of the cosmetics now i do want to go over just a few things and my final thoughts i think that the system structure of the event is really good right it serves like a hell tide it's great we get these awesome cosmetic and rewards small little quest line and then we're just out here farming okay so i think it's cool i think you know just having an interaction is awesome i think when you go to the shop and you're able to actually get some of these items all of the uh cosmetics are really cool and then you got a brand new power right and then you got gillian's brew which is super awesome now take all that away i think some of the issues with the event is just people find it rather boring to farm they have increased some of these items or the drop rate for all of the resources as you guys see here for blighted fragments lost heirlooms and, and not red cloaks so just blighted fragments and lost heirlooms now with that said i really really like these events and it keeps content super fresh right even though it's a small batch of content i do think it's really really cool for the game just to bring something in to mix it up now what can blizzard do to really make it more entertaining or just more not boring right because we don't want it super boring I think a few things is the reward system that is inside this. I think if you're going to have an event like this that takes so many, you know, resources to farm up to get these awesome cosmetics, I do think that they should make it easier, right? Like this is just a side event, essentially a side season theme. And I think it's cool to bring them in, but it, it needs to be finished quickly. I think you do it, knock it out for maybe a couple weeks and you're done, right? You experience the brand new content and it's over having it last until january 2nd for over a month is just not really plausible when there's nothing left to do right there needs to be a reward and something to do so i think that's that's one thing and second i do really think the blizzard that if you went out on all of these cosmetics and if there is a theme like it's christmas it's the holiday spirit i think you just go all out right like you have a christmas hat you know maybe a beard or just all of these cosmetics need to be more themed towards the event and holiday if you are going to bring it around a holiday which i think is super cool right just having a couple red and green colors like on this back piece just isn't enough really really go all out blizzard if you are going to make this a holiday theme right now second i do think with how long that these go on i think it's good to break it up i really like having vamp tides the midwinter blight event and then a hell tide when it's actually up i think having just more open world content is really really good for the game and i do think that it's just something awesome to have outside of that though how do we make the farming part of it not so boring that's probably one of the hardest things you can do in the game is reduce how boring it actually is to do this event right and that's why i said the only real way to do this and spice it up is one of a few ways right i think that if you make the resource drops higher so instead of four make these eight five instead of ten really just put them into those figures like the frigid husks got their lost heirlooms increased from one to three so i think increasing the amount of resources instead of making this a 12 to 13 hour grind that just seems so boring and just something we can't do I think if you increase the rate now so the next big thing that they could add is just more bosses right bringing some in butcher style bosses the community has been really calling for this a lot since we saw the butcher in the game more like wow or surprise stuff during certain events so even though we do get the red cloaked horror which is good for the you know the resources that we need to turn in i think if they just added more bosses or like super elites to really mix up events that just kind of pop in when you're running around this entire you know kovisha this entire fractured peaks area i think if you do stuff like that it can really make 
the engagement in these events just better so yeah guys overall i really did enjoy this event it was short and sweet and just something that really really breaks up you know the monotony of grinding other end game activities whether it's doing vamp tides or trying to get items for varshan or the bosses like grigor or really just farming to get stuff to go fight durial and try to get those you know uber uniques i'm still missing too i'm still trying to grind for the staff as well as the um grandpapa i still don't have it so we're grinding hard for that but yeah overall i do like these i think they need to incorporate a lot of more things just to make them more interesting and just more fun than just experiencing them in a day and just basically being done so besides just grinding for all those cosmetics i think if they added a couple of things it would just be much more interesting and engaging for even just the casual players or you know a casual andy or just a little bit grinder like myself so guys if you did enjoy today's video make sure to drop a like comment down below what do you guys think about having more of these type of events inside of diablo each and every single season not just for a seasonal theme or a seasonal holiday like christmas and new year's but just every single season just to kind of break things up let me know what you guys think down in the comments and just some ideas that blizzard could use to make these things much better and don't forget to consider subscribing and turning on notifications so that way you get all the diablo content that we produce here on the channel and as always thank you guys so much for watching and stay gaming. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.